Hey everybody, in this video I will give you 11 words or expressions for your school year. Hi everybody, I'm Derek and I'm your online English teacher who is Scottish. So if you're in this video and you're French, you can download for free my 21 tips and pieces of advice to become bilingual. It's free, it's right down there. You click, you put your email and your name and I will send them for free and you will progress easily in English. Right, let's come back to our 11 words. Just before I start, I'll let you know that the translation of the words are uh, in the descriptions. So you just scroll down and you will see all of the meanings of those words, even though I'll explain them. So, the first one is schedule, or you can say schedule, both are okay. Uh, the second one is to be ahead of schedule. Being ahead of schedule means that you are in advance of all the tasks you have to do. To be behind schedule meaning you are late on all the things and the tasks you have to do and accomplish. So schedule or schedule, both are okay. Ahead of schedule, behind schedule, there's no off. Uh, a quarter. A quarter is the period of three months that you have for grades or you have for exams. So a quarter is three months. A calendar. A calendar would be the, the paper, would be the, the, the document. A goal. When you are at a school year start or at the beginning of the school year, you kind of have some goals, some targets that you want to accomplish. So a goal, it means by the end of the quarter, I would like to be ahead of schedule, okay? That could be a goal. Number seven and number eight, a classroom and a grade. The classroom is the place where you sit down and uh, listen, watch, look at the teacher. The grade would be the level you're in. Do you see the difference? A classroom and a grade. An exam, very important. I give exam, I correct exams. So an exam is important. A lesson is the course you follow, the course you attend to. We would say a lesson. And the last one is a teacher. The teacher, or it could be the trainer, it could be the coach. And the, uh, the opposite is a student. So, here are those 11 words and we can say uh, 12 words concerning your school year start. And I um, tell you again that the translation of the words are under in the description. You can uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We have over 200 subs. Thank you very much if you are a subscriber. If you're not, you can click and follow the flow and listen to all those lessons and watch all of those lessons. I wish you a very pleasant day. It was Dick, your online English teacher who is Scottish. Bye bye!